When you grow up, you will face a world full of choices and decisions, most of which are financial related. Since you're living in Hong Kong and World Financial Center, you might to learn some basic knowledges of finance and investment as early as possible. Hello everyone, I'm Richard, a private banker and a senior wealth manager from a multi-family office. Follow me to dive deep into the financial world. Okay, first thing first, what is investment? Or what is investing? Long story short, investing is about making your money grow. In order to achieve that, you need to put your money into deposit, buy stocks, bonds, etc. Then cash it out. By buying and selling, your money will grow. Or let's say, less fortunate, lose money. This buying and selling circle is the lifeblood of the economy. We buy and sell things because those things have value. Why? Well, partially because you can use those things and partially because the monetary value people assign to them, the price. But value isn't a constant thing. It changes very fast. The petrol pump price, now it's about US dollars, $3 per liter. But during 2009 to 2023, the lowest price is USD 1.59 cents. See how much difference there? The price fluctuates depending on demand and supply. Supply up, price down, vice versa. Okay, now you may have a basic idea of good timing to buy, but you still need one thing to buy things, money. For ordinary people, money comes from income, AKA the money you receive from different sources, job, gifts, inheritance, etc. If you want to have money to invest, you need to save it. The principle is quite simple. Don't spend more than you earn. The process of spending money is called consumption. It means what you and your family consume, how much you spend on goods and services. To keep a healthy financial status, you need to pay attention to these two factors. If your consumption is going up, but your income is remaining the same or even declining, you've got in trouble. To leave paycheck to paycheck is obviously not a wise choice. What we need to do is to save money and let the money work for you to invest. Okay, today we have learned quite a lot of concepts. A quick recap, now you know what is investing, what is price, what is income, and what is consumption. Let's stay tuned, I will show you more later.